Hello. So today we're going to talk about how to download a Google Doc to your own local machine to be able to then work on it using Microsoft Word. Uh, many people use Google Docs to get feedback from other people in the writing group, and then they want to do their actual editing and maintenance of the document in Word in their own machine. So we're starting out with the Google Doc, it was something that from one of my writing groups that we've been making edits on. And the way to start to get it down to your local machine from Google Docs is to go to the file menu in the top left and then you want to download it so the download option and you've got a bunch of different options but it's generally best to use the microsoft word document because that'll have the most formatting if you do plain text it'll lose a lot of the bolds and italics and that sort of thing so i generally want to go with the microsoft word format so we'll choose microsoft word and it's downloaded it that quickly into the downloads directory you everyone should have a downloads directory on their machine and that's where downloads tend to go so now i'm going to have to stop this recording and restart to be able to show you the word half of it okay so here i am in microsoft word now and i'm going to open that file that i just downloaded into my downloads directory so when i open up word it says you want some file that you've been working on so far and i'm going to say no i want to open a new file i'm going to browse my hard drive and I'm going to go into the downloads directory because that's where things that you download go. And right at the top is that document I just downloaded from Google Drive, which is the Love Never Dies. So I double click on that. Now it tells you right off that you can only view it. You don't have permissions to edit it. This is a normal safety feature that happens when you download things from the web. It doesn't want to have you get macros or viruses or other kinds of things like that. So we'll click on OK that we only have view access right now. And then right up here said, be careful, internet can have viruses, but since we just downloaded this, we know this is safe. So we're gonna click on enable editing. Once we enable editing, we have the ability to edit. We have the ability to do whatever we want to and the comments are right over here on the right hand side. So we can read the comments, we can process the comments, do everything as we normally would in Word. So this is now a fully functional Word document. We can do whatever editing and changing and anything else that we want. We can read the comments, we can dismiss the comments and move on. So if you have any questions about this process, let me know. If you've never worked with comments before and need some help on the tutorial on how comments work in Word, then I could do that separately. So ask if you have any questions.